If you're looking to lower your interest rate, pay your home off sooner, or pull out some cash, don't miss this opportunity. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again with rates this low. Our 10-year fixed rate is 3.125% with a 3.41 APR. It's not often to get such an amazing second chance to refinance and forget it. That's a 10-year fixed at 3.125% with a 3.41 APR. Network Capital has experts standing by right now to help. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-501-HIT. As in home run, call now and save big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1448. NMLS ID 11712. Not licensed in all states. Visit NMLSConsumerAccess.org. Licensed by the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Under the financing law. Number 603D77. An equal opportunity lender. Rates subject to change and may not be available at rate law. Discount points may apply. Subject to credit approval. Call 800-500-1448 for additional cost information. On the podcast Not Lost, embark on a journey to all the destinations on your bucket list. From Mexico City to Montreal. As strangers become new friends. Drinking, dancing, and eating their way through each episode. What comes to mind when we think of Montreal? I definitely think of poutine. Of course. I think of you guys. They're everywhere. Listen to Not Lost on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Brought to you by DuckDuckGo. Protect your privacy online for free with DuckDuckGo. Good morning, Jacoby and Myers. Tell me to direct your call. I'm Michael Akiba, managing partner for Jacoby and Myers. We get hundreds of calls from injured people every day. They've been hurt, and many don't know where to go or what to do. As soon as you call, a Jacoby and Myers attorney will get you the help and treatment you need. Call Jacoby and Myers. We've got your back. These days, every penny counts. And now that we're in a drought, so does every drop. That's why you should install a smart sprinkler controller at home. This is how we save water. For more water saving tips and rebates, Go to dewaterwise.com. Every three seconds, there's a new victim of identity theft. A criminal could be spending your money, applying for loans in your name, or even selling your personal info on the dark web. Everyday activities like online shopping, banking, and even data breaches may expose your information, making it dangerously easy to have your identity stolen. Unfortunately, watching your accounts or monitoring your credit may not be enough, but protecting your identity can be easy with LifeLock a leader in identity theft protection. LifeLock monitors threats to your identity and if an issue is detected, sends you an alert. And if you are a victim of identity theft, a dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses, but LifeLock by Norton makes it easy to help protect yourself. Call 1-800-LIFELOCK or go to lifelock.com and use promo code NEWS. That's lifelock.com, promo code NEWS to save 25% off. Southland weather from KFI. Highs will be in the 60s to mid-70s at the beaches, Metro LA OC, and the Pallies. Around 80 for the IE. Lows tonight will be in the 50s across Southern California. Monday we'll see about the same for weather, and then by Tuesday it heats up a little with highs climbing to the mid-80s. Right now, Granada Hills 54, Venice 56. That's in 61, and in Los Alamitos, 56 degrees. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Andrew Caravella. Over 2,000 years ago, I walked this earth. Teaching healing, inspiring, and preparing to make the ultimate sacrifice. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. What if today you and I could talk voice to voice and you could ask me anything. You are listening to The Jesus Christ Show. Jesus Christ
happy to be with you this Sunday as I'm with you every single Sunday right here, answering your questions and talking about the things that truly matter in life. Quarantine Afterlife. I encourage you to be bold and brave and go to the phone with your theology questions or life situation questions anywhere in the U.S. of A. Dial 800-520-1534. That's 800-520-1534. Also, you can follow us during the week and during the show on Twitter at Jesus Show. At Jesus Show. Ed, welcome to the Jesus Christ Show. Yes, hello, Jesus. Thanks for taking the call. I appreciate the, the, the show very much. Oh, my pleasure. I wanted to ask you, I was going through uh, the uh, pastoral epistles mm -hmm. where uh, Paul is talking to Timothy. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in 413, he goes, uh, uh, until uh, until I come, devote yourself to the to the public reading of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. So I was wondering, we pick up the scriptures in the form of the Bible, have the Old Testament and the New Testament. Mm -hmm. but, but what did he pick up? Did he have to have the, the book of the, the Torah in one arm and, and a bunch of letters in the other? Well, they had scrolls, and huh? most definitely. If you remember, one of the first uh, one of the first appearances, for lack of a better term, of me in scripture after my birth was reading in the temple. Right. And my parents come looking for me. Uh, well, what do you think I was reading then? I was reading, uh, you have the Law and the Prophets. Right. Um, the Old Testament had been solidified for some time. And even even with oral tradition, uh, there are things that are passed down. Uh, that's, that's the first form of any scripture is the first, the actual happening. Secondly, the oral tradition of it. And uh, thirdly is the writing down of the scribes okay. becoming a part of the process. But there was much scripture that was already uh, solidified and written down and utilized by this time. So did they keep it like in, like in a Bible form that we do, do you think? Well, no, the sc they were scrolls. So it's more uh, if you have ever been to a Jewish temple uh, yeah. and, and you see the uh, Torah and the way it is, uh, it, it is rolled up and cherished, it was more along those lines. Okay. Uh, and then there were study type versions that were a little different than that, which you would see more in a formal setting. Uh, but uh, the reading was was uh, a quite regular process of your faith, even back then. So the scriptures that are being talked about, the confusion with a lot of uh, Christians is that when they're reading this, they're going, wait a second, but it hadn't been written yet. No, it had. What is referred to as the Old Testament by Christians is uh, the Law and the Prophets uh, with, and uh, Psalms and so on uh, with uh, our Jewish brothers and sisters and, and what is con you know, considered the early part of uh, the Christian church. Our, our Jewish brothers and sisters would, would say differently, of course, but to a Christian that would be the preceding necessity uh, to usher in the Messiah, uh, which is what Christianity is about. So there were scriptures, there were physical scriptures, uh, just as there are now. They're just different in their form because the process of uh, transferring and scribing is much different, uh, you know, than after uh, Vol uh, Voltaire and, and the process of printing and Gutenberg and all of this, which is uh, the modernized printing, printing press and being able to to print all these uh, Bibles that you have for you, much different back then, that the scribes would actually be meticulous, as they would not uh, write like a sentence down or be a paragraph or anything, they went character by character. And if they made one mistake, then they had to destroy it and start over again from the beginning, not just that page. So it was a very lengthy process in order to pass down and, and the scriptures were seen as, as incredibly important and cherished. Uh, for that reason, and, uh, and they were used to read and and to consume knowledge and to pass down that knowledge to others as well. So you 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 will see references uh, in the New Testament to reading Scripture. I'm not talking about the New Testament um, because not all of that had been complete. Although certain things, especially uh, in the early church, so you get to the Book of Acts and so on, you're going to see that chronologically, yes, certain things were understood and. Uh, had begun, even though the earliest manuscripts to date may be within 60 years, 70 years of the actual happening of the New Testament happening, that still the oral tradition is being passed down and the letters did exist as far as the epistles 
they did exist, and uh, they, you know, were continued to pass down uh, and then uh, put into the book form that you see today. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. The strange assumption is that scriptures don't exist until they exist in the physical paper form, and that's really not the case. That's that's the case now where, where in, in a world, you know, it used to be what you said was true. And then people, you know, would lie or their word wouldn't mean anything. So then it became uh, what you read was true. And then people would lie on that or misuse truth in, in that. And then they'd say, well, you know, what you see is true. And now you have Photoshop and all these other things to modify video and, and, and uh, regular photographs. Uh, to make them seem different. So people, you know, it, it, it changes as the earth changes, as the world itself changes. But keep in mind that the veracity of the statements that were made, that the importance of, of uh, your statements being true and passing along oral tradition was the method. It, and it was pristine and pure and important at the time um, because it was the method of passing down information passing along new thoughts, new ideas, and uh, these things were, were cherished and very important. However, there were scriptures. There were scriptures. There were readable scriptures at that time. What is referred to as the Christian Old Testament did exist. But after mom passed, living alone just wasn't the best idea. So we started exploring senior communities. We visited sample senior living communities, but none just got lost to death. My church suggested Round Tree Garden for Christian heritage. So we visited. Dad's eyes lit up the moment we arrived. The park-like campus, huge trees, spotlessly clean, spacious apartments, and fun activities. But my dad's clear favorite, hotel class menus and dining rooms. But for me as a doctor, it was their professional staff that made the difference. It's been three years now, and Dad loves Roundtree Gardens. We visit often, but when we can, I have the peace of mind in knowing he is really well taken care of. For independent apartment living, assisted living, skilled nursing, or memory care, Roundtree Gardens of Orange County is where compassion meets devotion. Visit roundtreegardens.org. That's roundtreegardens.org. California license number 300-600-816. This report is sponsored by Dairy Queen. Did you present? Kick for that. You stand before the new signature stack for the menu at DQ. Five cheeseburgers with 100% real seasoned beef, like the loaded A1 stack burger. And your mouth wonders, where you been all my life? DQ. Happy taste good. When Natalie was diagnosed with cancer, she took control of her health. When Natalie wanted to help other people with cancer, she became a doctor. When Natalie wanted to make quality care affordable, she became a researcher. When Natalie's patients needed innovative treatments, she found them. Conquer Cancer supports researchers like Dr. Natalie McKenzie, so we can conquer every cancer for every patient everywhere. Cancer research saves lives. Learn more at conquer.org. That's conquer.org. Every three seconds, there's a new victim of identity theft. A criminal could be spending your money, applying for loans in your name, or even selling your personal info on the dark web. Everyday activities like online shopping, banking, and even data breaches may expose your information, making it dangerously easy to have your identity stolen. Unfortunately, watching your accounts or monitoring your credit may not be enough, but protecting your identity can be easy with LifeLock, a leader in identity theft protection. LifeLock monitors threats to your identity, and if an issue is detected, sends you an alert. And if you are a victim of identity, Four, a dedicated U.S.-based restoration specialist will work to fix it. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses. So LifeLock by more and makes it easy to help protect yourself. Call 1-800-LIFELOCK or go to LifeLock.com and use promo code NEWS. That's LifeLock.com, promo code NEWS to save 25% off. If you're a